Hello, hello. Not a uh, not a skeleton this time. Welcome back to the iLog channel. My name is Casey, and thank you so much for joining me for another episode of my Minecraft survival series. In today's episode, I must admit, I've gotten quite tired of my unorganized and always seeming to run out of space storage system. And so today, I'm going to be building the storage room inside the castle. Now I don't have a finalized design for this storage room yet, I'm just going to kind of make things up as I go. However, one thing I'm thinking might be integral is using barrels instead of chests. And I have quite a lot of barrels up here. Not sure why I put so many. <laughs> I just thought, oh, you know, I'll fill up all the empty space with barrels. But now I have a bunch of barrels here. And only a few of them are actually full, given how little farming of this stuff I actually do. So I'm thinking I might want to use barrels for storage, just because I can pull from this supply. Alternatively, I may stick to a chest-based setup. However, really, when you consider the storage per block ratio, I guess, um, one barrel is equivalent to one single chest, and a double chest takes up the same amount of space as two barrel blocks. So really, it comes down to aesthetics uh, <laughs> instead of how I want to look. Though, of course, I could put the double chest sideways so that they only take up the space of one block uh, horizontally, which would allow me to get more storage in. But then that raises the issue of if I have signs on the front of those chests, of course, that leads to another issue where if I have signs on the side of the chest that face towards me to know what's in them, I have to right click past a sign to get to them, which makes opening the chest harder. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. I think first thing I should do is build the room itself and then worry about what kind of storage medium I'm going to have in it. I will also add that this won't be a fancy storage system with redstone components or anything. It's just going to be some kind of room with storage in it, and that's where it'll start and end. All right, so I've spent some time creating a floor plan for the uh, lower level here, just trying to figure out where I could put the storage room. And I ended up settling on this sort of design where uh, the storage room will be in the middle and you'll have all this stuff going around it. I've marked each area with a, uh, a sign about what I want it to be. This, this room is uh, the room because I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything here or what I could put here. Um, but then over here is the storage room. This is kind of just weird negative space. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just take this wall out here and just expand the storage room out wider. I'm not sure. I kind of like the idea of having like secret empty spaces in the walls. Over here are sort of uh, guest rooms. Each one of these... This one down here is slightly larger, but it's, you know, angled here, so the spacing kind of works out similarly. I'm not sure if I'll keep these as sort of like guest room type things or what. Maybe I'll move those upstairs and have this be something else. Um, down here, this is like the washroom, maybe, for the guest rooms. Um, in here is the dining room, and then past this wall, I'm going to put another torch here. Past this wall would be like the kitchen. So dining room would lead into the kitchen. Kitchen around here. And then it would also be the pantry. So somewhere back here there'd be like food storage and, and whatever. And then somewhere as part of the pantry there would be a secret access point. That would get you into the uh, tunnel back here. So tentatively that's what I'm thinking I'll do for this. Um... Now, all I need to do is start working out the design for the storage room. I probably won't finish this entire lower level today, but I do want to get the storage room started. And hopefully finished as well. Alright, so I've started mapping out all the uh, different little segments of the storage room where I want chests to go. 
And as you can see here, I was able to get away with pretty consistent patterns. Uh, over on these two walls, there is a distance of four between all of where the chests are going to go, except for over here where it's only going to be two because we have to account for the space for these set of chests to come in. And this is mimicked over here as well. And on this wall, I was able to get away with two block spacings between each wall segment. But over here, unfortunately, it wasn't able to be quite as even as based on where the uh, hallway enters in here. And you kind of, you know, come down and then kind of turn into here, right? Um, it means that it's a uh, four, three, and four. So it's uneven. And uh, try as I might, I've been trying to figure out a way to make it more even, and it just doesn't work. I could have two block walls between each, and then it could be three on each side or have five in the middle, right? And then turn that into two, so it'd be two, two, and then three and three. But either way, it's not great, unless I were to take these in by two, which could work. I could try to make these look like some kind of extra supports or something. As for the middle of the room, um, I may just have some kind of like pillars or something in the middle just to kind of make it look like, you know, it's holding up the floor above it with such a large open space. I'll think of something for that, but you know, actually looking at it, I don't totally hate this, uh, this spacing. I mean, it would look a little weird, right? You come in, you turn, and then there's two blocks, but it would keep everything even, which... I don't know, it technically reduces the amount of chests that could be in this room, right? Having these filled in. I wonder, maybe I could do like one and one. No, that's that's too thin. Could be two blocks there. That could work. Maybe these could be like larger columns or something in the middle. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll mess around with a little bit, but for now I need to start working on uh, getting the chests in here and finding out how I want everything to be mapped. All right. And uh, here's part of the storage room, and here's the rest of it. And as we can see, I think it's pretty much done visually. I have these nice uh, pillars here, which I didn't intend on this, but you end up with this nice kind of archway framing on these parts of the room, which I think looks pretty nice. And I decided to go with four layers of double chests turned sideways to maximize how much storage we could have in here. And now I just need to start writing some signs to uh, label what each area is going to be. I think instead of putting the signs directly on the chest, I'll have uh, signs on the pillars here that'll sort of have arrows pointing like, here's what's in this section and this section. Or maybe even have a system where each row of chests gets dedicated to like a certain item or type of items. And then each line, because there's four lines on a sign, right? And then each line will be dedicated uh, to what that column, I guess it's not a row, right? It's a column, what each column will be. So like, if I wanted to fill this whole, if I want to dedicate this whole block here to just dirt, filling it with just stacks and stacks of dirt, I would write dirt, 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 dirt on the sign showing that each column is dirt. And then here for this one, if I wanted like stone, deep slate, cobblestone, and then like miscellaneous stones like andesite, diorite, granite, stuff like that, I could write, you know, uh, stone, deep slate, cobblestone, miscellaneous stone. And that could be a way of uh, marking out all this storage. Obviously for the ones that are just too wide, I'd only use two lines of the sign, probably the two in the middle. And, uh, oh, oh, I just realized this... Oh, oh, didn't even notice that before. Well, that's not too hard of a fix. There we go. It'll just sort of curve upward at that point, I guess. Maybe I can even, let's see here. Oh, no, that doesn't work at all. Okay, let's do, yeah, three slabs and then three. That works, yeah. Oh man, that doesn't look as nice. Didn't even occur to me that uh, this wall here didn't have the same center line as this one. Hmm. Well, that's okay. This, uh, this works, <laughs> as weird as it is. You know what? It might be less weird if the whole thing, like that, is just stone. Maybe you have one slab 
and then it goes up. That way this is like the dominant look here so that it's less weird that this is here. Actually, that might be better. That way it just doesn't look weird that it's multiple heights throughout like that. It's just, no, it's just like that. That's just how it looks there. That's fine. Maybe I could fix that by just bringing in another column like that. I don't know, that's kind of tight spacing wise. Maybe have another column just like, hmm. No, I think, I think that's it. I don't think I'm gonna fit anything else here. This is as good as it's gonna get. So, a little strange there, but that's okay. I suppose I could mimic it on all these and bring all these slabs up to full blocks up top, but I kind of like the, uh, the way it frames the room here with the slabs. Okay, so I changed it up a little bit. Uh, I put in a column here, which does kind of tighten up the space this way, but then I have it going out sideways to each of these sides and then just connecting in the middle there. So that way you get kind of visual cohesiveness without having this weird set of blocks running into the chest there. I think that looks all right. And it still looks feasible like, oh yeah, this is still a support pillar for the whole area. It's just not the same as, you know, just doesn't connect all the way to the wall here like this one does, but functionally it still is holding everything up. So I think that's good. Kind of makes me wonder if I should put one in here too, like that. And then would that come out to, ooh, that would go out to there. That could work like that. And then you sort of have a pattern of repetition of slabs going to the side, open, slabs to the side, open, slabs to the side. How does it look when you come in? Pretty good. And I can put some light sources on either side of these pillars, which will help keep it be a bit brighter in here. Oops, missed some. There we go. I don't know if I'll have it be this bright in the end. What if I took out some of these wall torches? Maybe I'll just have the lighting on the pillars in the middle. What does that get us lighting wise? Oh, six blocks. That works. Not gonna spawn any mobs, which is good. And then I guess I'll have a torch there for when this hallway's sealed up, and maybe one there, just for safety. And I'll take these down. Hmm. I'm not sure if I liked the lighting of the room being on the walls instead of it kind of in the middle with these pillars. Is that even? Wait, that's like off center. Oh, I hadn't noticed this before. Oh, now I can't unnotice it. But there's really not any way I can make it better. I, I don't think this room has like a direct center point, right? Oh, geez, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it kind of works because from where you enter the room, no, the perspective just makes it look like the pillars are really far away. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. Don't really have any room to expand this space any. I mean, I could take this hallway, push these rooms, make them not as long, push this hallway to the side, and expand this area down here by a few blocks. Or I could just leave it as is and just let it be permanently off center. You know, I think I liked the torches on the walls more than I liked them on the pillars. I don't know, something about having the lighting on the outside of the room instead of in the middle just made the spacing look better, I think. Yeah, somehow even though it frames the walls and makes the walls more obvious, it's like it makes the room feel bigger because this area is in dark, is slightly darker. And so it feels kind of more expansive, like you don't notice the columns in the middle, so it still feels kind of big, which I feel also helps not draw attention to the fact that it's a block off center. Well, that's okay. Nothing in this world is ever perfect, and though I could modify this to achieve something closer to a kind of perfection, uh, I think I'll leave it how it is, you know? Let it, let it be the way it's going to be. Well, now I just need to uh, start labeling out where I want the items to go in here and moving items over from my old farmhouse. Alright, so I've been uh, at work here transferring over items from the farmhouse over to here. 
Uh, here we have valuables, quartz, copper. I ended up going with the naming system where uh, you can see the sign points to the side that it's on and then each sort of uh, column is represented by a row on the sign. And so far I've moved over most of the dirt related items over here. I think there's a couple of grass blocks that I need to move over. I've gotten all my stone related blocks in. I think every wood related block I had at home. Sand is going to go in this corner and I've decided to count this corner uh, instead of being two and two. I'm just going to count this as four columns like this on the sign. And so far that's everything. I've just been slowly flying back and forth uh, from the house to the castle with these two shulker boxes. The only ones that I have free and empty are these two. Just slowly working on getting items over. As you can see up here, I've cut down the amount of chests to just these. And then I just have... that's pretty good actually. Might even be able to uh, condense these down. Let's see here. Will this fit? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, look at that. It all fit. So, just slowly getting these condensed down. I think these uh, ore chests are completely empty. That's good. The stone chests are mostly empty. What's uh, in this one? That's about half full. What if I condense these down here? A little less than half full, so I may be able to take all these as well. And having things condensed like this just helps me keep track of what I have so far and what I need to move and what parts of the storage room need labeled and what I need to label them as. I guess a lot of these are also going to end up in the valuable section, so I may need to rename the valuables labeled to just ore, and then the valuables will be a lot of these things. God, so many cat and 13 discs. It's crazy. But I think I'm going to do a lot of that off camera and in between episodes. And so with that, I'm going to end off this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked this video, uh, please consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel. If you want to see more of this series and more content in general, uh, click that old subscribe button and check the notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. And with all that being said, I'm Casey from the iLog channel, and this is me, signing out. Bye now.